his former son journalist, Martin Phillips, who did it with one of the paper's readers. Uh, Mr Phillips joins me now. Uh, thanks for being with us, Martin. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it's one of those stories where I just think, you, sorry, you did this with one of the paper's readers anyway. Uh, leaving that to one side, tell us what the descent to the Titanic was like. Um, it's, yeah, it's a desperate situation at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, as soon as I heard uh, of the missing uh, submersible, it um, rang alarm bells and reminded me of our own trip down to Titanic. Um, which uh, was extraordinary adventure um, and had some of the, uh, the, the dramas um, that you've just reported, but uh, happily um, not the same uh, dramatic uh, uh, loss of uh, contact. When you say some of the dramas, uh, tell us what happened. Uh, so one of the uh, three-man subs that, uh, that I was due to dive in... Um, uh, was damaged in a similar way uh, by a launch vessel uh, in rough weather. Um, and the, um, the Russian mechanics um, uh, simply mended it with duct tape uh, and we went down anyway. And what were, what were your feelings when you were going down? I mean, are you claustrophobic? Or, I'm assuming that you're not. Uh, I don't think I am and I, I didn't really have time to think about it. There's all sorts of things. There is a little bit of claustrophobia. Um, there's nausea as you bob about at the top waiting to, to go down um, uh, and a sense of fear knowing the dangers that you're going into but there's also an exhilaration of what you're hoping to see. And the darkness uh, as well as you go as you go further and further down. In indeed so um, you, you're only a few meters below the surface when you lose all all natural light. Um, our Russian pilot put on light for a short while so we could see the sea life as we, as we started to descend but obviously to save the battery um he, he quickly turned that off um and so we were sinking for two hours like a stone in absolute darkness um with just the echoing ping of the sonar and were you talking as you went down or was everybody quite quiet uh well, there were only three of us so the limit to the chat but yeah we we, we chatted um we passed the the uh, two hours um, uh, with our Russian um, pilot trying to explain in his broken English what we would be seeing. And then when you got to the Titanic, what then? Uh, just the most extraordinary sight. So um, as soon as we reached the seabed, the, um, the pilot put on the lights again uh, to reveal uh, a lunar-like landscape, colourless, uh, rolling sand with just the occasional colourless starfish and colourless ratfish. Um, but it was only a few few minutes uh, travelling over this sand before we came against uh, a, a wall of black, um, which we clearly didn't appreciate at the time was Titanic, but uh, the, the submersible rose and rose, and then suddenly um, right in front of me outside of the, the porthole, Within an arm's length away was the unmistakable bow of Titanic, the, the hand, the handrail that uh, you would have seen from the, the Titanic movie. And what was your thought at that point then? It just took your breath away. Uh, just the most extraordinary sight. Just this, all this history just unfolding right in front of you. Um, and we took a, a tour around the, the, the wreck um, at a respectable distance, um, and then across the across the debris field and, and to the stern, um, until our our pilot said, "You know, it's time to go up now." And I thought, "It can't be. We've only been down here a short while, and we've been down there for four hours. It, it had just flown past." Now there is. Uh, we're looking at the at the um, newspaper headline here, and this is a quote, God help the Titanic tourists, I did the trip and I was terrified. You're saying that you were terrified on the way there, and then as you went round, the, the amazing views that you were seeing stopped the terror, I'm assuming, until you came back. I, I, I think the, just the knowledge of the dangers you're going into was fairly yeah. terrifying. Um, as I said, the exhilaration of what we were about to see Tended to mask that, um, and 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 just when we were on the bottom, visiting the the wreck, just um, 
so memorable, just took your breath away. And then when you came up again, um, what was the, what was the uh, atmosphere on board then? Uh, when, when the pilot said we had to leave, um, he started to rise and we could still see the stern of Titanic, um, as clear as anything. And then he turned the light out, um, sending Titanic back into, into darkness. And it was the most moving, most haunting uh, memory of the whole trip for me. And then we just rose, floated for another two hours to the surface, just talking about the amazing sights we'd seen. My goodness. And, and as I said, you did that with one of your paper's readers who'd won a competition? Yes. Uh, so the, uh, the, the Russian researchers who were diving on the site at the time had run out of funding and were selling the dives uh, to raise money for, uh, for the research. Um, and a, uh, a wealthy businessman had bought up the dives to launch his dive website um, and wanted to give away uh, dives to, uh, as prizes to various media organisations. Um, and we were lucky enough be able to give Sun Reader that opportunity, uh, and I was lucky enough to go with him. Well, Martin, thank you very much. Uh, that's former Sun journalist Martin Phillips, who um, who went down to the Titanic with one of his papers. Uh, readers, we're going.